The Navajo County Sheriff's Office taking action to make sure victims of child abuse and neglect don't slip through the cracks. Yeah, in fact, months before CPS ever revealed thousands of cases were never investigated, the Navajo County Sheriff's Office decided to do their own homework on those calls into CPS. ABC 15's Navita Fergani finds out why the agency felt they needed to double check the state agency responsible for protecting Arizona's kids. And it's a story you'll only see right here on ABC 15. Getting done when you're talking about the health and welfare of a child. So, for the children of Navajo County, Deputy Chief James Melissa took protection into his own hands. When he joined the sheriff's office last January, he noticed something was wrong with this stack of files. I said, um, What do we do with these? And he said, Well, we keep a copy of them, we keep a file of them. Inside each folder is a summary of every call that came into the CPS hotline that fell within the county's jurisdiction. As he looked over the reports, he started to ask questions. Was something actually getting done? What, do we know that that case got assigned? Do we know that? Um, Somebody went out and addressed the issues with that child. The answers to those questions weren't clear. I was concerned that something might fall through the cracks. So Melissa had his own team double check every file to make sure a caseworker put eyes on the children involved. And if nothing had been done, a deputy would conduct an investigation. David Cole, one of our deputies, got assigned this. That's what happened to this case. CPS got the call on March 27th. Someone was concerned about a parent using hot sauce as a form of punishment. But three days went by, and a caseworker never went to check on the child. I just need to know that um, somebody's addressing this particular allegation in this situation. Kind of in a timely fashion. Ten months after the Navajo County Sheriff's Office started to double check all calls that came into CPS, the Department of Economic Security revealed more than 6,000 cases statewide since 2009 slipped through the cracks and were never investigated. My initial reaction was. That's what happens when government tries to do too much. Since Melissa started the new review process, only two of the 300 cases that came in were not investigated prior to a deputy stepping in. Statistically, that's a great number. Uh, on a human level, one's too many. That's one too many children left behind in a system that's been overwhelmed for years. In Navajo County, Navita Fergani, ABC 15 News. Well, we reached out to CPS for their response to this story, and so far we haven't heard back. The governor's independent team has uh, just told us of those 6,000 cases originally ignored by CPS, so far eight were in Navajo County. That number could increase as they continue to look into those cases. Meantime, the Navajo County Sheriff's Office tells us they only have four investigators to cover the entire county, but they are ready to help put eyes on every child.